today what we are doing today is actually you know sharing the behind the scenes of what we actually do to get to some shoot to inspire TT and um, basically it's like we are on the road you know we left Porter Spain a short while ago and you know now the sun is no longer in the sky and um, it's actually rain is actually pouring we're ready to safari to Shanti's Chula I mean it's the season one we'd have attempted to do we'd have done Shanti's Chula but you know it's always good to revisit you know good stories and the Shanti is actually a good story and um, definitely my girl, I mean, the journey is an important part. I mean, one of the things that we've been getting a lot of feedback, and thank you guys, thank you for following Inspire City, thanks for sharing, thanks for at least interacting with our videos. This is part of the production world. We planned for this morning, was hot, dry sun, and look, we're yeah. almost to Safari, and the rain came down. Correct. And this can affect the shoot, this can affect audio, this can affect setup. Definitely. But we're hoping I'm keeping your fingers crossed, and yeah, we can still bring good content to you guys. Yeah, definitely. So, we are. We are on our way and we will definitely keep you guys you know posted and still what we have to deal with as we come from one extreme to another extreme yeah we're at the way back at shanti back at shanti you know, I'm a year later. Hey, welcome Shanti. back to Shanti's Smoky Kitchen. Wow, well, well, nice scene back all year again. Only like Shanti to come by Shanti today. Yes, well, it's a whole year. We, we whole year, let them come and all come to see Shanti, but everything changed up now. So, Shanti have the Smoky Kitchen now. So, let's enter Shanti Trini Smoky Kitchen. I will like all it to come in and Shanti Trini Smoky. Smoky Kitchen, man. All right, welcome. All right, come in, come Shanti. in, come in. Yes. Very late, you can't put too much a blazing fire in it. But small enough, so when it... So we are here at Shanti, the Chula Queen in Separa, yet another episode of within Sparta. This time we actually, we do more, we're doing more cooking than really making stuff today. Shanti, how things have been, I mean, it's nearly a year we haven't seen you and, yes, and well, it's, it's so good to be here today. Yes, well, in that year, Thing went wonderful and it's still going wonderful so I have to thank God for that Definitely. because without God I can do nothing so this hand he's blessed this two blessed hand God gave me to make this from scratch to finish so tell me something what it is we have in front of us here what it is we have in front of us here what okay what? this is um a, a fireside but this is a different tradition of fireside okay Right, so Shanti watch a lot of people make like in Guyana and she take a recipe from there. And she build a different one as a stove. Yes, so, I see that, yes. Yeah, so this one, it hold up that 18 inch pot. It's big wow. for 18 inch pot. So, so she invent a different style you now to the local chill house. Okay. Yeah. So Trey and Tobago, I know you might be here in the rain. Every time we come by Shanti, rain does fall. Right. And it's a storm in Safaria. I don't know what it's called, but they say rain is a blessing. It's a blessing, it's a very blessing. What is the kind of effort that goes into build, making this type of chula? What is the kind of effort? Yeah, what, how much, what kind of work that goes in? Okay, well this work you have to make a frame, a wire frame, steel frame. When you make it, then you use the ground. Clay, grass, and a little... When you're yelling sharp and you need a cup to hold because you have to get something to hold the clay. So this is what Shanti invent here. So this is a very strong chula. So tell me something. What is the kind of response you get? People are buying these? Oh, or? well, it sell, more, it sell more than the local. Serious? It's really selling fast. Then Shanti invent this designer chola, it sell really, really fast. And you see where hunting season open? Yes. Shanti can don't make for campers. Wow. wow. Because campers who buy it, no campers. I, Shanti, like it in here. So mm. Shanti does just watch it and she's going to build it. Definitely. Yes, and that's, and that's what I like. I mean, Shanti Tobago, I mean, you all would have heard Shanti, the chula queen, doing these types. And this is a new type of open as yes. well, too. And now she has modified and doing new things. And we think it would be necessary to show that we in Trinidad and Tobago could do things too. Yes. So tell me about this one, Ashanti. What's so this? This, this one they call the Dwyla. Right? 
so this one now you put it this one have also a frame also a bridge mm -hmm. steel bridge okay right you have to know to make this you don't know to make this when you light it up this could mash up and cause a whole problem so when you put the wood here you put a little bit here so you put a parallel pot here and you put an next for this long time tradition what i grow in that is what we aunt and grandmother used to say okay they put a water to hot here or they make the for the tikari and they make the sara here wow so it's one cholha doing this so the process shanty uh -huh. you know is it different or is it the same or is more work this is more work and the local okay. because why i tell is more work now if i use half bag of sand I'm clay to that one, I use a bag of clay to this one. Okay. Because it's more work, it's more big. Because remember what the thickness of this. And why I make it all so you could bake in it too, is as an oven. So when you light this and it gets really hot and you're done cook, you block the door, you mm -hmm. take out everything, you block the door, you cover on top here with a little cover. So the heat from this is released now and bake. Wow. So it's, well, it's just as a stove. You can do it for all purpose. You cook, you bake. The, I, I know you could make the chula, but what did they, you know, where, where did that, you just see it and you, you just see innovation and everything that you do. Okay, like this now. Mm -hmm. This, you never see this long time. No. You never, you maybe see the dwila a long time, but this one what newly making now, shanty, somebody sent she that and a writing, just a drawing, not even a, it, not even like this, it's send a drawing for me and ask me. Shanti, can you make this? I tell them send a drawing what they want. Mm -hmm. So them send me a drawing and I make it just as what they want. Wow. So I design it as a stove and it's clay, not concrete. Wow. Pure clay. So maintenance, you know, that is our main no, part. Right. I know you always talk about maintaining right. these maintenance, things. Maintenance, this now, you use some gobar and you use some dirt, not clay. If you use clay, it's going to feel. You must use back gobar, like what I have in the bucket, and clay, um, sorry, the sand, and you leap it back this whole entire thing. But they don't want plenty maintenance. This one. So tell me something, Shanti. I know the last time we came, we cooked some pilau, yeah. and um, I know today you prepare for us. Yes, we prepare so, today. So, Chiranti, we don't get vexed with us too much because we have a we have a kind of array of a menu. Tell me what yes. would be on the menu today. Okay, the menu local Trini cook today yes. is the um, Chana Puri. Hmm. I don't know if you hear about Chana Puri. No, so it's my right. first time. Shanti going to make some Chana Puri straight from the Cholha and some local duck straight from the Cholha to show all you how the Trini Cholha does cook them kind of thing. That I know stove could do it too, but it tastes wonderful from the Cholha. Definitely. So yes. don't get envy with us, Trinidad and Tobago, but we buy Shanti. And when you go buy Shanti, you know you must get something total local. Yes, local. Right? Strictly everything. local. Local, local. <laughs> everything is strictly local by Shanti. Shanti do copy. She do everything yes, straight from yes. she heart and straight thing. Because if I see somebody build something, Shanti don't going to try yes, that. Yes, yes. So tell me one more thing. For those who want to purchase this, I mean, what, what is the price range because of, of it, it, It's cheap. They just have to call Shanti at 271 6523 mm -hmm. Right? It's cheap. It's not no big set of money. Yes. Right? $400 is very good price. Yeah, of course it is. Right? It is, yes. For this. Okay. And that's how Shanti sell it. I, I know that we would have come just before COVID. Yes. But became, you know, the spikes and stuff. How? Have you been coping with that? With well, the with the COVID, uh, I do my social distance. I do, I stay, well, you know, I'm following the government protocol, what we say, and I, I'm going very good. Mm -hmm. Everybody come, they're fully vaccinated, I'm myself fully vaccinated, and the business is going very good. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Although with the COVID, Shanti get real sick because people come, Shanti, we have nothing to do here. We lock down home. I say bye bye, I tell her I make a cook in the backyard, yes, yes. they take it, That's so it's good. selling. I have no complaint to make that I tell her I'm not selling, it's selling because why? All you had to do a video for me and send it up and after that, all you do that video, <laughs> it gone wild. Well, Shanti well, couldn't done sell Well, them. I have to thank Trinidad and Tobago for that People because we... People thank Trinidad, yeah, yes, thank them. Yeah, thank yes. Trinidad and Tobago for that. When you send that up, it was wonderful. 
And definitely for those watching, I mean, I know yeah. Shanti was one of our first episodes on Inspire TT last year. Yeah. And um, definitely, um, you know, we have been going the trail across Shanti Tobago. And for those who are watching, you know, you can follow us on all our social media platforms. And even, you know, follow us, or subscribe to us on YouTube. And, you know, follow the content and see what news happening because next year again you might just come and see something because else because the only woman Shanti is 58 years yes only woman who brings history in Trinidad and all yes because why I tell you that for it had plenty Cholha selling I went and see people selling Cholha they never put it on Facebook yes but people ask me Shanti why you went on Facebook for well, I say well my daughter yes. I can bless my daughter yes. for that because she do it and after she do it I see real people making cholha now and they put it on Facebook and they balling. Then put this on now. Shanti bring history to everybody yes, home. Yes, yes. And I love that, what they do. Yes. So I'm um, Shanti, the cholha queen from Safari. I bring back history for the little youth for coming up to show them what they're doing. And, and they're welcome. And Shanti now, seeing that you are an icon in this market, are you willing to train younger persons who want yes, to? Yes, I do. Children come in already and training. They would just come by Shanti. They come in, look at children, I tell them, I send up an article. Shanti training children from five years till about 12 years. Children want to loan, they will come to loan by Shanti. Wow. They come in to cook because I have training, cook it. children training already to cook. Well, Michael behind the camera, so I don't know, Michael might be telling me, hurry up, you want to go and cook something. Yes, because so, we, yeah. So definitely, um, what we're going to do now, we're going to show the Chola bean, use some gobar on the cho chola, yes. and you know what gobar is? Gobar is cow dung. Gobar, and this, yes. and this, this time I am not necessarily interested in putting my hand in cow dung. <laughs> so let's see Michael get his hands dirty with Shanti, and we buy the Chola Queen and Sapphire yes. on Inspire TT. Right. So we had a gas well for Michael. Hi Chanti, yes. it's good to see you, see you right. so much a year later, a yes. year and some months. Right, so you want a cholha like this, so I'll just show you how to flip it when you can't Otto, I feel you set me up with this gobar talk, you know. No, 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 it's the gobar gobar, right, so this is the gobar. All right, well, I see you have on gloves, let me put on my yeah, gloves. Yeah, put on a glove. I only know what gobar is, right? I don't oh, think I'll explain now, one, right? All I know what gobar is. Right, it comes from a cow, let me just put it that way. Cow dung. Uh, but wait, just now, wait, 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 before we start, if you're liking the content here on Inspire TT, make sure and share that. We're trying to build the tribe, look. Shanti was a year later, we come back by Shanti, so yeah, let's... two months, they now come back by Shanti, so it was wonderful, and every time I took on here, rain for the I blessing. Because without God blessing, we couldn't stand up here. And you could be part of our Inspire TT community. We have more content, we have more. But this could only happen if we build the community together. Shanti, warm to this glove, girl? Like if they want to like. Well, I just use one. If one hand you can play with. One hand in, 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 into the cow dog. In the cow dog. That's no, that's no. No, no, it's clean, it's nice. Look at it. Watch it. I ain't taking that chin up now. But I'm going to use the one glove. I'm going to use the one glove. Watch how nice it is. Watch, watch, watch. That's wonderful. Yeah. Wait, that fresh hour. Yeah. <laughs> that looking fresh, you know. That looking so. Oh, you don't know how much money they bring bringing in Shanti home, eh? They say Gobar is locked, eh? Right. Right, right. Right. Gloves on. Finally made the gloves on. Yeah. What's the next step, Shanti? Yeah, they're taking a pile of wet your hand and take up some. Wet my hand. Yes, and a plenty, a little. A little Gobar. A little Gobar. Well, yeah. Oleo. I well, realize this is a square, right? So the last time Otto said it was smooth and wrong like a woman. Yes. So this one hard and square like a man then. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, I pick up a little bit. Yeah, rubbing it like this now. All right, so how is rubber square object right. compared rub to it, a smooth rub object? It. All right, rub it again. Rub it from now all here. And Chanty to the viewing audience. All right. Who this, probably don't know why we put in gobar on here. This is the gobar, right? Chula. So this is how you have to rub it. What's my hand? Okay. So that is how it's coming, right? You seal it like this. You wet it a little bit. Yeah. That is how you're preparing this one at the cholha, right? And, 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 and for the audience who don't know that, like myself. Yes, like this. Why are we rubbing gobar on the chula? Because it's a thing keep the heat 
and that is the traditional way to use gobar and your cholha right and 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 this new innovation right i see it a different size yes. it's a different dimension you're using more firewood or less firewood on less, this one less so you can tell your audience why we're using less yes because why it's one meter and smaller so you use coals alone you can use coals alone right so look at this how beautiful this shell has come out look at it shanti i'm gonna walk over things yes, hard you know you make sure you rub the shoulder and things i don't rub the shoulder and things yes, all right rub the hand shoulder what's the hardest part of the process for this one compared to the other one the hardest part is to build the framework. The framework? Yeah, you have to build a framework out of BRC and um, steel. And steel? Right, to have it standing up. Oh, okay. And then you have to mud it. So when you build it in a way, you cut out the dough and then you start to pack your mud. So you have to build it both ways like that. Oh. So size of mud, you build it the size of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's looking like a monster compared to the other one, huh? So this one doing everything. Otto, my mask going in my eye. <laughs> and I'm afraid to put my hand by my eye. Because they go by replaying it. Otto, make it. Otto, make it. It's going go by. Nah, man. Nah, man. All right, so up next, guys. We're going from the Chula now. We're going to actually make some food and continue the conversation with Shanti. Yes. Stay tuned. What kind of wood burning here, yeah, Shanti? Then it's um, from a rack. From a rack? Yeah. So, what are we doing here? We're going to bake some coconut bake. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's just getting more and more interesting every time yes. I come by, Shanti. And some more um, homemade Ooh. pizza. Homemade so, pizza, all you hear that? Eh? Homemade pizza. But we're going pizza. to do it into the oven. So, Shanti will do it local, how she knows. She doesn't do pizza and whatever, but no high up seasoning and things. Mm -hmm. she, Local. 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 Strictly local. Yeah. Strictly local. So, whoo, guys, just get away for the smoke and it, it, it yeah. hot. It's it extremely hot in the kitchen. Yeah. And as Shanti said, we're in a smoky kitchen today. So, it's very so, smoky. So, we're going to do what we're going to do now. We're going to chunk your duck there now. So, well, we're going to show them that duck well, there now. I didn't intend to get my hands dirty this time. So, Michael will go and chunk your duck there. Michael is going to cook that duck for Shanti to eat some of Michael's food today. Because All right. Shanti. <laughs> Michael eat Shanti food last year, so today we eat Michael food. Well, alright. Well, let me go, Shanti. Let's go. In to the kitchen. kitchen. We have a problem with that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> right to the kitchen. We're gonna need the coconut bake because it have um, we have to get that coconut bake going, right? So what are the ingredients that we put in the coconut okay. bake? Okay. Salt, mm -hmm. baking powder, mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. butter, coconut, lard, yeast. So you must use them things so you bake to be soft. Some people don't use nothing in it, but yeah. I just make, I go in local and make my things wonderful. So this don't have, this three thing, everything I show you there. So you now we're going uh -huh. to add in the coconut. I'm not washing the coconut. Okay. I'm not using the water. I use Why it. not using the water? Because that long time they used to do that, but we go in local thing. Mm -hmm. So this is the coconut here done great from the straight from the home grater. Yeah. We didn't blend it, right? So we blend it so and, what, and what we expect to be the difference between this coconut bake and where you normally get in the shop? Well, when you taste this one, you're getting the, the crunch of the coconut okay. into your mouth. Really nice. So when I done this, you're going to love this. Boy. Right? Shanti, early day still. Yes. But I know, you know, I start to feel hungry. Yes, yeah, so this is how we mix in this here. Uh-huh. You have a certain way to knead it. You cannot knead it stiff, you cannot knead it soft. Okay. So this is how Shanti adding everything inside. I here I cook different to other people. So when I cook like this, people train from Shanti. So you're mixing up your dry goods? Everybody, you mix this flour until you get it grainy for with the coconut one getting between the flour. And it mix. You see how wonderful it mixes in. So you think the coconut bake is the ideal thing for the dough to have on? Yes. It have a different taste. You could make it in the pot too, you know, in the yeah. chulha. 
Okay. But I go in straight to my dot oven. On auto, you see, we get coconut bake and we get pizza and in our dirt oven. Right. So I'm looking forward to later. Yes. I don't know which one go in. Auto, I'm looking forward to the pizza. You may be coconut. I don't know. <laughs> I want all this. Thank God I have a mask on in auto because you go see the dribble. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this is how we're needing your flour. I need flour different. I just saw plenty of people watch what all they do for me last year, yeah. and they learn a lot. They just always call and ask for all you. And on that note, if you see any Inspire TT content, yes. make sure and share. Share the bottom of the page. Also, go over to the Inspire TT page. You could follow there. You could interact with us there too as well. We're offering content that is unique to Trinidad and Tobago, showing unique people like Shanti and what they do and their skill set and how we can innovate and change the landscape of Trinidad and Tobago moving forward into the future. Stay tuned. Up next, we're going to put the coconut bake actually in the oven and yeah. see what that process is like. So, in Spartiti family, we need kitchen, we buy the chola. Well, I'm not dealing much with the food, but I said I wasn't going to go in the kitchen a bit, but I say what? I'm going to help Shanti like this thing and yeah. we're going to start to like this thing. Tell me Shanti, what are we doing here? What are we going to well, do first? Well, I want to show the people how to like the chill, huh? Tell me, show me. So this is some, some little scrums, they call it the chips, right? Yeah. So we put it like this. Uh -huh. You have to make sure you pack it in a way that you can get room to this breathe. This is the chips, the yeah. chips, right? The chips, turn it out. Yes. And what type of wood is this? This is what? This that is what? Is pomerac. Pomerac and yeah. what else? I see now. And this red one here is wallaba. Okay, it's smelling yeah. nice, boy. Yeah, so why I cook with pomerac? Mm -hmm. You get the flavor of the fruits into your food. Put this one, Shanti. Yeah. Nice. So, so what's the next step? Now you're throwing a little bit of kerosene in there. All right. right so, so, just be careful, people. I know, I know some of you all will may not know how much kerosene, but yeah. always be careful with kerosene because yeah. it's a flammable liquid. Yeah. So, I mean, for children and, and for those yeah, who yeah, can't handle this, mm -hmm. you know, seek professionals before you start. So, let's go, right. Shanti. What are we doing yeah. here now? You throw a little picture so you like this. Mm -hmm. And send it into there. Nice. Right? So this is going to catch there now. Okay. Right? Uh, and what are we going to do now? We just so, leave it to light right, or? So what? when this catch up here now, this mm -hmm. bigger one going to go in right. there to catch. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me get right, this. So, put, put this one. How yeah, to put it? Put, put it like it, this? Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. So that every day just learn something mm -hmm. when they come by Shanti. So, I think the last time. We had something to blow. What, what is that? They, they poke me. They poke me. Yes. Well, but last I... time was a PVC, so I think the original, long time tradition poke me. All right. So, yeah. I'm blowing up poke me today. So, I'm going to watch Shanti blow the poke me today. So, what are we doing next, Shanti? What's we're the going next step? Diet. We're going to put up the pot just now, and mm -hmm. we're going to cook the duck there now. All right. So, yes. let's let the fire get going. Yes. Let's get the fire going, and then we're going to see Mr. Ram Singh Sharma. Um, come on, chunky a duck, eh? Yes. All right, so stay tuned. More to come on Inspire TT. Okay guys, welcome back to Inspire TT. If you enjoy any content, please make sure and follow. Otto had the first part where he was actually lighting. Now I'm going to do the cooking. I right. don't know how this... What well, you say the last time if you're afraid the heat, stay out the kitchen? Stay out the kitchen. So well, you're taking the smoky, the smoky kitchen, right? Yeah. So it will be smoky. So you continue. Throw some oil in your Should pot. Throw some oil. All right. Yeah. Oh. Right, that is it. That is it? Yep. Wow. So why we put the oil to hot up now? What are we going to do next? That's half the hot. So you're holding this plate here. You're keeping your hand off the fire. Don't lay your hand off the pepper. Keep it this side. And I'm using the spoon. Right. Let now, when I cook it in the kitchen, Shanti, I accustomed holding the pot. But remember from the last time you was here? Nah, you don't have to hold it. You don't have to hold the pot. Nah. What you don't hold your pot spoon so short, your hand go burn. Okay, Shanti. Well, I'm you the master and I'm the right. student. <laughs> Just now when it's hot here. Right, put in your onion alone. Eh? Onion alone. Onion alone. I feel like a, a chef today, Shanti. Right. Add it to it, get golden brown. Now, why it is, mm -hmm. add it for the onion first. Now, onion will have a flavor into our onion. So when you put it there now, the oil is going to absorb the taste of the onion there. Add it to it, right? No, it's add it to it, it's going to get a little golden brown. Okay. 
Yeah. Are you right. smelling the onion? Yeah, right. wow. That way, yes. So. What are you worried about is when I train that pepper? Well, you're going to have to run out and Shanti will take it over. No, no, no. We, yes. we need kitchen. We're going to take the right. heat. So, you it. see, so this now we're putting your pepper. The pepper alone? Yep. Okay. Gally going last, eh? Alright. Turn up your garlic onion and your puran rice. Do I need name for what we're doing here? That is the puran. Puran? Yes. Okay. You bunge in the puran, baby. Turn okay. it up. You burn it. Then we go bunge the curry when we're done. And the last is the garlic? Yes. Let that okay. get a little cook a little bit. It Just put... hold the whole your pot spoon short because this is going to burn you. Here. Well, thank you, Master, teaching yeah. the student. Right. We want to get burned to the auto. Alright, so put in your garlic. I smell all the season. I'm feeling hungry and I, I ain't even close to the finish line yet. Put yes. in the garlic. Yes. Alright. Not the curry. No, no, all no. Right. Curry going last. Okay. Alright, you see, so I don't cook with a little bit of garlic. When you're cooking duck, duck want garlic. You can't cheat on garlic for duck. Is that any special reason why we use it in my plate? Yes, because it's tradition. Long okay. time tradition. Iron pot, dot cholha. Nina mal plate. Add. Give me that plate now. You're going to hold onto this in your hand. Are you putting in all or putting in some? All of that going into your pot. So much curry shanty for a duck? So you know plenty curry that look a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, we go, I'll, I'll go take any master yeah, advice. Wait, go ahead. Oh. Wait. Totally curry. I want up your pool. I'm excited children. I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm excited. Well, take up with the spoon so we go average. Take up with the spoon? Yeah. True. Try again. You have any special thing you put in your curry or is this curry powder? Nah, I just put natural curry. More? Nah, yeah, turn them up there, let me see them. Right, spoon them up. Wow. Right, let me show you something. I just hold a spoon like this here yeah? and watch mm. that. Such a simple. Right? That is all you have to do. You have to can let the spoon control you. You control the spoon. I don't know if you ever get curry to eat and when you get it, it's grainy. Yes. Shanti don't have no grainy curry now. Shanti does add she little water into she curry like this. Mm -hmm. She curry have to properly well cook before she could put she duck. Smell that difference of that curry. Wow, Trinidad. I wish you could smell and what I smell smelling in. Smelling it through the mass, eh? Wow. Right. So you're smelling it through the mass. So, so when, while, it's, while it's burning or, or uh -huh. you say we're cooking with curry, what are we looking for when we know right. that it's it all When you to turn finishing. in this curry, you uh -huh. mustn't see that bubbling together again. You're going to see the curry like come like colchon and then you're going to see the oil and then you put your duck because it's properly well cooked for a duck. So what was that what you use here? Colchon? Colchon. You know when you make coconut oil, yeah, there's boil the coconut oil and it'll be grainy on top. Yeah. That's how I want this. Okay, okay. Right. So you can leave here there and let he cook. And I'm going to organize it duck wise here. I'm coming back with the duck by you. And as Shanti walk out of the frame here, if you like any content here on Inspire TT, make sure and share that video. Make sure and go across onto the Facebook page. There is interesting content that's on that page that you probably didn't see. We're trying to build the tribe. Okay. Shanti was one of our first episodes and we're back here with Shanti because we're all about community and we're all about relationship here in Inspire TT. What do you say, Otto? Right, oh, let's see how we listen. That is what we want to see in the pot. We don't want to see no long water. He's a good, he's a good teacher, Shanti. Right. What's the next step? So, this is the duck, properly well seasoned. What are you using your seasoning for your duck? Um, this have um. And this is grind up fine, fine, fine. Fine seasoned celery, mm -hmm. side, onion, garlic, everything properly well seasoned in this duck. Right? Okay. Yes. So, it have any way we add up throw it in the pot or we just throw all in the pot one time and right. turn it up? Right, we throw it all into the pot and turn it up. Well, you throw and I go turn. Right. All right, you know that Shanti training people how to cook, you know? Yes, I does. I'm fooling all you good, eh? <laughs> right. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to cover this. And we ain't throwing no water or nothing, right? And and let it know that's going to remain there now. We're going to set this cover. We're going to put a cover over this now. I'm really looking forward to taste a fireside duck right. on a chula. I never tasted duck before. The last time was the first time I tasted pilau. So From the chula. Before we even reach that point, Shanti, and say thanks, Gil. Thanks right. for giving me that opportunity to try right. something new. All right, thanks. Too. All right, so we will be back just now again. All right. 
Okay, well, we're going to do the grindy chana puri now. We're going to grind the chana, the straight to the local, long time tradition mill. Do you have any particular direction we are turning the mill, Shanti? Or yes, yeah, this yes. way, no, this no. way? The next way. This way? No, right this wrong way. way. That oh, way. Okay. So we're See. going to put the chana mm -hmm. into here and you're grinding your chana, right? Yeah, no, long time we used to do everything the other way, but we were yes. looking for conveniences from yes. there. But Trinidad and Tobago, if you want it to taste a particular way, or you want it to have that authentic flavor, we had to do the right way, right? Right, so this is how the long time people do the, the, the chana, they grind it, right? Plenty of people don't know about chana puri. So yeah. Shanti is showing you all about chana puri. So we, when we put the chana, we put a garlic, right? That is garlic going in, in here. So what's the difference between chana puri and dal puri? Okay, well the chana puri tastes are different to the dal puri. It's more sweet, it more, more tastes nice. Well I have a custom with dal puri, so I'm looking forward to chana puri now. I'm looking yeah. forward to pizza, I'm looking forward to coconut yeah. bake, I'm looking forward to duck. Right. Shanti, you want me to go home? I'm like I'm breaking coffee today, boy. So this is how you see now, how the mill grind is how fine. Yeah. Nothing to bust your roti. Very fine and nice from the local mill so and this is the real long time mill eh? the real long time one so Trinidad what we need to understand and appreciate is the fact that with advancement yes we get comfort but also too everything have a process and once you follow that process you'll be successful hot pepper we need to be mill here you when get a chana puri or a dal puri cook with Pepper and garlic. They grind it just so to Shanti, sell. you don't afraid pepper, why? No. See, so see, Shanti have enough confidence to leave me with the mill and mill by myself. Why? Otto, I ain't saying I regret it, eh? But I can't believe so much work. going to check with duck now, but you cannot hold this so because that going Just to... Just Shanti. Uh -huh. I'm going for an email. <laughs> Abe, yes. Oh God. Don't tire, don't tire. Don't tire, don't tire. Oh, you you struggle like a lion, man. Right. Now, I don't want you to hold this because that's going to burn out the skin from your hand. My tender, soft, soft hand. Soft hand. Eh? So yeah. you're going to put this here, you're lifting it up with this for me. And let me see uh, what And you wasn't on. calling this a cloth, you're just calling this. That is a, a sappy. Right. Lean it up, look at your duck. Wow. Turn your dog now. Wow. Right. What do you want the full color it gets? Look at that. So it's frying up. I can eat this now? No. That's way, that way how that is what they call bunje. That bunje up there now. That looking like it's ready to eat your shop. Right. No. So we're going to add in this water here. Uh-huh. And when you this, add the water. Right. When this water dry down, then we're going to add the coconut milk in it, right? Okay. So we put that water to cook it. So if we put the coconut milk together with that, it wouldn't it to make no sense. Right, so we're going to cover back that there now. And when that dry down, we put the coconut milk. Ren from Hunters. I'm learning how to cook on fireside. So next time we have a hunt, they could call your boy. We could be the cook. We never know. We patch first, we patch the jira, yes. then we grind it. We grind it. On the sill. Yes. And now what are we going to do now? We mix it in the dal. Right. In the chana, sorry. And this is I'm making all the loaf. That's the chana that I grind. Yes, the chana. Michael grind. All I notice the sweat stop because right. it has no more to sweat. So we're <laughs> going to make a few chana puri here now. Uh -huh. With the chana. So this is how Shanti does make out chiloi. You see everybody uniform. Yeah. They're not big and small. So Shanti Sh have Shanti, you're making some big roti, boy? Yes, it's 18-inch tower. 
All right, all so right. So let this be big. I feel, as okay. I tell you before, I feel I might be spending night by Shanti because yes. I doubt I can leave here tonight. Right. So we're going to fold this roti now. We're going to fold this with, this, yes. with the jira, chana right. that we mix up yes. for the chana puri, right? Mm -hmm. So this is everything here. That have everything in it. Wow. I'm going to do our next first, which is actually, what we're going to do here? Fully, fully, we call that it loy? Yeah. We get one or two fly, that is the rain. So we can't, can't get away with that. So this so is how you do fall, it. Huh? You put it like this. Uh huh. So my hand pull it, you sprinkle some flour in Let there. me wash my hand, Shanti. Right, so you sprinkle some dry flour in here. Yeah. Now, why are you putting the dry flour into this for? So when you fold your dal, mm -hmm. your chana, the root dal will go through. So I'm going to fold one and show you, right? So All right. Shanti, don't use she hand. I don't use my hand to pick up dal. I use this. You press it down and then you hold and you pull it in like this here now. Shanti, you're giving a new definition and, to um, right, on the job it. training here, Gil. Right, so then you just do this. Do not pull too much because if you pull, mm -hmm. here will get thick and here will get thin. Right? So that is what we're going at. Spread the loy. My turn now? Yes. You sure, Shanti? So mm. what do you know of this? No, the next way. The next way? Right, just spread it out. Right. Right, put it in the palm of your hand now. I feel I spread that big boy. I turn this this way, put it so, put a sprinkle of the flower there. Right here. So right. you to so, so the, mm -hmm. the chan and not to stick on the, right. on the skin. Mm -hmm. Right. One scoop. Yeah, put it over this. Put. More? Yeah, it's put a little thing again. Right, you have to, right, and then just pull in your, your, your rooty them now. So, pull it in now. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Rest it on the cupboard if it's giving you a problem. Right, rest it on the cupboard, right? Pulling everybody together. I'm feeling this a little bit like the power man, man. <laughs> Lou, yeah. good thing you get my little training, so I make it like a, like a, like a flower. Yes. Right. You use it, so put it in your hand now. Put it in my hand. Right. Is up the end. Make sure the end seal. Shanti, you go make me out of be making roti home, you know. Pull the end like this. Yeah. Seal it side. Okay. Like a grab, right? So you seal. So you put them there. And I slap it on the table, oh. So yeah, <laughs> All right, we go be right. gentle. We go be gentle. So, that is be there. What to all? Let's make roti now right. too, boy. The traditional way. Right. So that is the traditional. Next way. time I'm buying roti, mm -hmm. I understand then. There's plenty yeah. work going to the roti, so don't, don't make no noise yes. when the roti is little expensive now. Sure, yes. that thing's going up. Yes, so a big roti I get, right? So I'm going to... So I'm going to wipe it off. Why we do early tower? For the roti not to stick, so I'm going to wipe it off now. Uh -huh. Because... If it have any black thing, it cannot come on the roti because it's fire smoke, yeah? so it does be black. Okay. So now you're oiling it there and I come in with the roti, right? All right, Shanti. All right, Trinidad, I'm oiling the tower. Right. A little more? Mm -hmm. Right, really. Right. right, so this is how Shanti left your roti. Uh huh. Ever awesome. Right, so I will... Why are we oiling the tower and why are we oiling the roti? Because we don't want it to stick now. So when you lift it, you get a good roti. Right. Wow. See? We're reaching closer to the finish line, Trinidad. So it's less talking, and more, more looking, eating. and more eating. And hopefully more eating. Right, so it's right All around. Like you're right. Alright, so I fold our roti here, Shanti. I'm yes. cooking roti, and as I say, we're closer to the finish line. Energy levels a little low. One more roti, eh? Yeah, Shanti. Alright. Go ahead. Yes, you take long and give me the dabby line, you're done. Alright. I feel like I'm working in the roti shop, boy.
So Shanti, what is going on here? Why are you using that? that, that because I'm dusting all the dust from there because I'm going to put the bread inside and I want nothing under it. So, Trinidad and Tobago, well, you see Michael in the kitchen and you see Michael cooking a little duck, making a little Lovely chana duck, puri. Duck. You know, so now I'm going to help Shanti in baking. Uh, I say I'm going to try my hand at baking today. So Shanti, what it is we doing here? I'm going to throw a little flour here to make sure it is hot too much, right? You see it is hot too much, the flour mm -hmm. is get brown. So nice. we're going to put in the bake there right. now. Give so this is a traditional yeah. dirt oven that Shanti also makes um, as well along with her chulas and it's just amazing to see what is happening. So we're going to put yeah. some inside. coconut bake inside. Straight on it. Nice. nice. So Shanti. So guys, it's it's hot, but say what? We enjoying it. Right. Okay, we'll talk to you. Go ahead. You take All the right. thing. So definitely this is just one of the many. You know, it could put your hand on it, it's not hot. So this is one of the many stuff that Shanti makes and you do to open this one and we had to move fast because we had to try and trap the heat yeah. to bake the bread. All right. So this is sham now, this is shanty and sham here. So we're getting in the balance into the oven. So we want it to be hot straight out from the oven. So we're getting in. So in total we have eight seven. or seven. I think seven we have, right? Shanty, seven? Eight. Eight. We're trying to eight a whole eight. So, so this, this traditional dough oven yeah. holds seven coconut bakes. And what we're going to do now, Shanti, because I right, see we are we full. We block the back, so we're going to block here now. We're yeah. going to butt this there, that is to trap the heat. Okay, okay. So, so when it traps, you know, how long is this? Will, how long will this take? To at least five to ten minutes. So when we're moving it out there now, we're going to show them there now how it's coming off. Okay. So this heat, what we feel in here, are going to release there now. We might have no heat in there yeah, anymore. Yeah. So this is what's going to bake that. Okay. Right. So guys. Definitely interested here. I uh, mean, I know Mike do all the cooking and so I said I'll try the baking. So we're gonna do this coconut bake and then we're gonna do some pizzas, local, strictly local pizzas. So definitely wait and see. Five minutes, you're gonna have bread. So what we're doing here, as I said, I'm taking over the baking, Michael did the cooking. Right. And um, we're going to make pizza. Shanti, what we're doing, it. walk me through the process here. Right, we did, we did, and this is a different needle flour. This is um, coconut. Mm -hmm. So Shanti going to try a coconut pizza. Okay. So I'm going to spread it out for you all, and then you will do the dressing and topping. Right, but definitely. I don't put it in the pan because the fig leaf, we're doing it on the foil pan to go in the fire. Okay. Right, so. This is you, you take over from there now. Alright, so guys, so. Michael had to get permission for these things. Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't need permission. I mean, I, as a man, no more around the kitchen now. So, right. Shanti, we put in, we put in the, the, right. the tomato paste right. first. Now, with tomato sauce we make there, mm -hmm. that is local. We have one no high seasoning and that. I just see ketchup, a fresh seasoning, mm -hmm. and we're All going right. to run it there. Alright, good. So, so I'm going to. Michael? What are you better than Mario? Yeah, I mean, just now here, Shanti Auto Pizzeria in Separia. Uh, it rhyming, eh? Yeah. Shanti, what are you doing there? Well, he's going good. All right, so we're going to put right. some cheese first. Yeah. All right, so take some of the cheese here. Yes. Plenty, or we just a, a little, little bit? A little bit. Right, Tell me right. if I put in too much, eh? Right. But we had to get for the others. We have plenty more pizza to make. All We're right. just doing one now. Okay. Right. right. So, so what, you what? go with your you you. If right. you're in the kitchen, you're supposed to know what we well, go with right, next, right? I put a little right. salami around. Yeah. Then we're gonna try some onions in the center. Yeah. Some onions, yeah. Your fish, your, your fish, chef Piru could compete with me, boy. No, I don't think so. Uh, chef are calling you for a cookout when they're ready. There you go. All right, then we have some local pineapple, Shanti. Yes. Local pineapples. And we garnishing it, you know? Yes. Nice, son. Right. 
Shanti, fix anything if I need to fix there, you know. In, oh, is this one? But that onion tastes very good and right. Well, alright. So we had to put some cheese well, on top or leave it just. No, so. you had to put cheese, man. Well, where's the cheese? Where we put the cheese? Oh. Okay. So. Okay, wanna... Yes. Yeah. And I think we good there. So. Right. Tell me, Shanti, we good? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to put this in the oven just now. Yeah. And after the bake come out, we're going to put that. All right, so. Look at the All right, so, so right. Trent, we're going to see the final product yes. coming out Hold of the dough. Hold it there, don't want the fire fall on the table, wait, eh? All right. Right, so one straight down to the back. So this straight off the oven. Oh yes. Right. So the mind is burning. So this is the back of it. This is the top of the bake. So it's so beautiful. This bake come out yeah. and properly well cooked. Okay, look at the next one coming out from the oven. Ooh, Don't chance to watch your hands before you get burned. Ooh, right. start to cook like that. Yes. You get a little brown, and, huh? and Michael, if you realize don't this, let burn, yeah? this is extreme. I mean, I just touched it with yes. my this is extremely hot. That's to show you the level. The amount yes. of heat is in that dirt over on a traditional yes. coconut bake mm -hmm. being That's baked here at right. Right, Shanti. I'm excited at what will happen because I see what, what happened with the coconut bake. So definitely within five, ten minutes, we should have. A artisan pizza, a artisan pizza, trying to be an artisan pizza, right? Yeah. Right? Let me go. All right, straight down to the back. Right, and this is another one going in to the side there. Them come out nice and handy. Wow, it didn't let me down at all. What would you say the cooking time for the pizza? I say, what if the oven cool out a little bit, so it will take about 10 minutes. Okay. When it's really hot, five minutes. So, really tell me, so tell me something. This is the normal type of bakes you get coming from the... From, pizza. straight from there. Normal. Yeah. Wow. So, you know? Shiranti mm -hmm. Bigo, if you want a, a coconut bake, you know, you can definitely find Shanti on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. You name it, you can find her, get in contact, make your orders, you could come down and... And give Shanti some check, I mean. Shanti, baby, when you come by Shanti, there's a chance that you could, the pounds you're trying to lose, you could gain it back within right. a few hours. Shanti, how it is? Over 20. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh my god, real nice. Over nice. Mm hmm. My God, I can't invite the arm thing for the no, hungry ma with the bake. Mm. Yeah, ma'am. I see we're talking about Shanti. Yeah, see how we see how we be arm. It's just a little bit. All right, Shanti. So we open it. We're gonna take all the pizzas, all right? Yeah, take them out. All right, cool. So we're taking all the pizza now. Eh? I, 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 I bought something, but <laughs> I must see if my pizza really come out good. Yes, yeah, so it come out good. Do you mind one? This is Shanti's pizza, right? Ooh, so what? Wow! Wow! Look at that! What? If it was any live. Right, so this cook right. Break out hot oil. Yeah. He won. So you see that? That what? So you see that? This is my own trainer, that ain't baby. Wow, it come out good. It come. Oh lord, watch it come out good. It come out good. The boat. Watch that. Watch that. Shanti. Ooh. Boat speeds are come Papa. out wonderful. So, have a have a chance in the, in the, in the chef arena, Shanti. Right. I could yes, do thing. I could do because thing. yes, it come out good. So it, it, we are getting a burnt thing on top. Nice. We didn't get nothing burnt to take. We get the cheese. So, Shanti, we gonna taste it. Yes. Yeah. Shanti, yet again. Yet again. We trying the uh, chana puri mm. and a curry dog that Michael make. And Shanti, yeah, Michael tasting like yeah, Michael dog tasting different there. Yeah. Shanti, yeah, man, tasting like a boss boy. Right okay. now, all I might see we are blinky, but it's a smoky kitchen and it's smoky food, so it tastes wonderful. Definitely. Yes, so. Our best dog. 
Mm, mm. Oh my god, we Time to eat, boy. Yeah. I work hard for this dog. I let me enjoy it. Enough talk. So you wrap your roti and you pull it like this. Definitely. So, guys, we come to the end of yet another episode by Shanti. And if you enjoy any content, make sure and share it. Somebody out there would like to see and experience living through us. The pandemic allows that opportunity for us to use this digital portal. This was definitely an interesting experience. It's the first time I'm making Chana Puri, first time currying a duck on a fireside. But definitely, Shanti, this was a memorable experience. Just like my pillow. Wow, it's wonderful. So, they suck your fingers. Hmm. It tastes so good. It tastes wonderful. It tastes really good. See you next time here on Inspired DT. Time to eat. Time to eat.